My name is Mark Smith. Uh, I am the owner of Macroscopic Solutions, which is a high-resolution imaging company where I need to make or manufacture uh, a lot of high clear, like high precision uh, instruments for motion. And in this case, what I'm going to be doing is making a universal stage. A lot of our clients <coughs> are requesting basically a stage that will centralize a specimen so that you can rotate it, uh, change the axes, uh, basically up to five different axes while keeping a small specimen right within the field of view and in the focal plane of the camera or the microscope. So what I'm going to be doing uh, is walking you through how to machine the various parts of this universal stage uh, as kind of an intro tutorial to the Proxen PD250E lathe. Um, so I'm going to be manufacturing this part out of 6060 aluminum. Uh, and what we'll do is just sort of start for, start right from scratch. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing first is making one part that goes into that stage, uh, which is going to be a post. Uh, this post is basically going to thread into a rotary stage uh, that will then allow the rest of the universal stage to move up and down. So really it's going to thread right into uh, one of these 1024 slots on the Cognosys rotary stage. Okay. So what I'm going to be basically showing is how to actually shape chamfer uh, and also um, basically travel the distance of a pre-recorded length uh, of an individual part. And in this case, because we have a 1024 thread, I'm also going to be showing how to thread the aluminum using the lathe, uh, which, which I find is, is much, much better and more precise than using a die. Okay. So first thing we're going to do uh, is just take our aluminum and place it in the chuck here. Okay, don't need too much space. And also I just want to make sure, I don't know where I left off, so it's always good to just check your belts, make sure that your RPM is in the right setting. Uh, this is aluminum, so you want to uh, turn this at a very high rate uh, of speed. So that's exactly what we have set up here. We have our, our belt set up for a higher speed transfer. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is just tighten that up. And then we also always wanna use a center uh, on the back just to keep that part stable. So just like this. But before I do this, what I'm gonna do uh, is just drill a tiny little notch in the back just so that the center stays grounded. So I've got a drill bit here, which I'm going to place in the tailstock. And we're going to go ahead and grab, I believe it's a four millimeter Allen. Yep. Loosen up the tailstock, slide that into place. Go ahead, tighten it down. Okay, now we want to get ready to power everything on, so we're going to put on our safety shield, turn the power on, and now we're going to start to spin our aluminum, and we're going to drill a little notch. There you go, that's all you need. So now what we'll do is we'll back that out, we're going to remove our, our drill bit from the tailstock, and we're going to replace it uh, with the center. Alright, so we're just going to place the center in there. Move it right back up into position, tighten it down. Turn the lathe back on. Now we just want to tighten the center in position until it gets a nice, nice grip, starts turning. And you don't want to tighten it down too much because you might bend the aluminum. It's only a quarter inch thick. Uh, but you just want to have it so that it's gripped and, and centered nicely. So that's pretty good. We're going to turn it off now. We're going to be using only three tools, a cutoff tool, which I, I'll use later for a final video, a left hand cutting tool, and then also a threading tool. In this case, we're just going to use a threading tool because the first thing we're going to do is just sort of clean it up and chamfer uh, a section of this. So what you want, I believe it's a 5.5 millimeter hex. Yep. So we'll take a 5.5 and we're just going to Place this on the compound, make sure it's nice and nice and aligned. Tighten that down. 
<clears throat> and we just kind of want to move everything into position here. Now, if you're making parts uh, where you already have a detailed spec, it's very important to just follow a procedure. You sort of want to play around until you get your part designed perfectly, and then you want to remember how you did it, write down all your measurements so that you can basically rinse and repeat. So that's what I've done here for this individual post. Uh, what we're basically trying to do is the threaded area is going to be a total diameter of 4.8 millimeter with a 1024 thread. Uh, the stock itself is quarter inch, so that's roughly 6.3 millimeter rod. Um, and then the entire piece is going to be a little over 40 millimeters long. So just around four, 40 centi or four centimeters. So the first thing we want to do is just translate and shave off 6.5 millimeters right in the start. All right, so that's right about where we want to be. Okay, so remember, this is a 6.3 millimeter diameter. And what we want to do is get down to 4.8. So uh, we want to shave off about one and a half uh, millimeters, so 0.75 millimeters, but you don't want to do all that right at the start. So what we're going to do is just go two tenths and just start to get a really, really, really clean edge. So let's take it back to zero. Remember, we only want to move 6.5 millimeters. So I'm just going to zero our translation. And what that means is basically uh, six and a half rotations. So one, two, three, four, five, six point five. That's about as far as we want for the threaded area. Now what I want to do is just carve out a notch and chamfer it to where we're actually going to bring the thread to. We're not going to make the thread go any deeper. And it's good to have a section cut into the aluminum here. That allows you to not overshoot when you're making your threads. Probably go a little bit deeper than that. Remember, this is just a very, very tiny part. Okay. So we'll go ahead, we'll turn the lathe off, and what we want to do is just make sure uh, we have, you know, we just want to check our diameter before we take it all the way down to uh, its 4.8. So this is a German made lathe. Everything is done in metric, even the gearing uh, to make threads is metric. You have to special order imperial gears, gears to make imperial threads. Right now we're at a 6.08 millimeter diameter. Again, we're trying to get down to 4.8. So we have another, basically, uh, yeah, another six tenths uh, to, of, of material that we need to remove. So what we're gonna do is bring that back. But basically what I was getting at is you really need to be uh, precise with all of your conversions. Um, basically a 10, 24 millimeter thread is, is roughly uh, 4.8 millimeters uh, in diameter. Okay, so we're gonna turn this back on. All right. Bring it back, clean it up a little bit. I'll just kind of zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. There you go, it's a little bit better. So again, we're just gonna take the compound, we're gonna advance it. You wanna get up to around 0.75, but you don't wanna to cut too much off in a single pass, especially when you're first starting like this. Six tenths. Bring it back. All right, we're getting pretty close. We're at seven tenths. What we'll do is we're not going to go the full length, just in case there are any uh, any mathematical errors. Sometimes the the rod that you order isn't exactly a precise diameter. It's off by by one or two millimeters. So you just want to check everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it off. We're going to measure the diameter here. Five point one four. So we're off about 0.35 millimeter. So what we want to do is is shave off about another about another point um, one five just to see, and we'll check where we are. There's seven five. Eight tenths. Okay, 
And I'm just gonna deepen that notch a little bit more. This is where, remember, remember this is where the threads are kinda gonna end. There we go. All right, bring it back. But we're just gonna chamfer the front end. Just a little bit. There we go. All right, now what we're gonna do is just measure that up again. And we're at 4.86. So that's, that's pretty close, that's pretty good. What we wanna do is just shave off another point uh, 0.025 millimeter just to make it nice and uh, nice and accurate right there all right so not much material at all but that's about the desired diameter before we start cutting threads okay so to avoid making any video particularly long, what I'm going to do is actually stop the video here. This is a really good introduction on uh, getting everything set up, getting your tools in place, what tool you want to start to use for threading. But I don't want to make the video too long, so I'm going to have a second video, uh, which you can then click on. It's in the exact same playlist where you can see uh, how we're going to go about cutting threads. Okay, thank you.